I think studio culture is, is a weird thing. I think there's sort of a mystery about architecture and architects. No doubt architects stay up all night. There are a lot of times where it's you'll get like one or two hours of sleep. A lot of work. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of work. You have to coordinate your, the way that you think, the way that you actually make what you are thinking, and the way that you express what you are thinking. Architectural problems are not quantifiable and therefore have a degree of subjectivity that requires the student to put forward an argument for why it's a good choice, uh, as well as producing the representations of the proposal that include issues of space and occupancy, and material and structure, and mechanical systems and all those things. So it's hard. You know, studio is an interesting thing. It's quite different from the way that other programs teach students. Studio culture means that each student has a desk. Each student does their work at that desk. It's usually at an o in an open, large open space, and the students work together. They actually more closely, closely parallel the way that one works out in the real world. The faculty member is leading the, the studio, but is also expecting that each of the students is participating in a way that, that makes them active in their participation. Then you come to the point where there's a review. Pinups are typically a little less formal, reviews tend to be more formal. In either case, the students pin up their work, explain their work, and then if there's faculty involved that are outside faculty, they will typically, or even inside faculty and other students, they will typically be asked a series of questions. What's your main concept and uh, how are you relating these to your architecture? If you can say that very synthetically and everything else is drawn, you have, you know, made a great presentation of uh, your design. But, you know, that's very difficult to achieve. Thinking more in terms of angles, not necessarily flat planes, and then maybe a little bit too far in that direction. Did you understand? I just believe it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that you've done is that you've been doing thorough investigations, so you everything that you've thought about, you've represented. You've a better way to do this. You have that subject you need to draw it. Right now, I wouldn't know what scale that would go at. Don't make it so sharp. Shelving units that slide out. We got this number, which 
has a fun floor sticking in there. The whole idea is like using this fabric to create a sense of enclosure without closing the whole thing. I have to work on my drawings some too. And I'm going to have to make this one finish, figure out what I'm doing basically. That's the biggest problem, is not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> this is taking me like a day to do and I have like eight hours till the studio. And it's not close to that. Ideally I'd still have another day to work on this. I don't see an end to this. I'd like to sleep tonight. <laughs> so I could be out by... If I could be done with the model by midnight, then I could have kept drawing the way to two. Okay, so that may not happen, but I can still dream. Do you want to do some of my drawings that if you finish by midnight? No, I want to keep you I want my model done by midnight so I can do my drawings by three, and then I can go to bed, come back, be at Whitaker at eight o'clock when it opens, so that I can print them and be ready by nine. <laughs> I have to print out all my old ones, so I have like. One of the things about architecture is that it is very focused on um, collaboration and working together, and the studio culture allows students to work together. I think you can have the restroom. I did it. So that's the idea is that you're able to collaborate with people from broad backgrounds. I think that's extremely important. Like a an orifice. The cat is a bus. It's like. It's orifice or word? I mean, one of the things about being so close knit is that on occasion, work is not really occurring in studio. That on occasion, that fun has broken out. It's not as if all the students are a bunch of automata just sitting at their desks, you know, quietly drawing away. There's discussion that happens. Although, Catalina, I'm true. Just let him know he's never Yeah, because remember, Angela, you oh. cut your hair to look like Catalina. I know. That, that was my motivation, actually. Test, <laughs> test, test. This is why I'm not productive, guys. I'm one of those things. Can you keep it down? Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> My goal is to finish this model by four, and that doesn't look like it's gonna happen. We need to finish it by four thirty. Yeah. How complete of a model do you think you are? Pretty complete. I would say pretty complete. Like, if I didn't have walls, would that be? Yeah, a... I think that'll be a problem. I think that should be like. <coughs> I don't know anything about where the windows are in this. That's fine. Just yeah, blank walls. Let's do it for that one. Oh my god, I need to fucking finish this. Oh, wait. 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 It confuses me when it's this late and I see people up who like 
yeah, when art and architecture, down. and I'm like, why are you up right now? You could be sleeping. We do not lock our students into the building. I, we as a faculty encourage people not to stay up all night, partially because you just become highly inefficient. The fact that all your T's and all your are crossed or all your I's are dotted isn't nearly as important as being able to explain the project. It's actually much better air outside without all these poisonous gas. That's gonna give me esophagus cancer. Esophagus cancer. That's like a very esophagus. Oh my god, this isn't lighting up. Kansa! Kansa! I am. Oh my god, I'm not gonna draw it. Shut up, you'll be fine. Shut up. Shut up. Can you shut up? Whoa. I need to calm the fuck down. are going to cost probably about $30 total, but I've spent <coughs> that at least five or six times last semester. What will you offer yourself? Uh, yeah. Do you know which plotter's printing? Um, none of them because they all ran out of paper. Great. <laughs> And, but I did manage to finish my model, which is kind of bad craft, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, there's not much else I could have done last night. I did what I could. Which probably wasn't enough, but... with mapping of uh, two things, movement and body, because one of the main premises that they have to learn in this uh, studio is scale. Start with your concept, what's your concept? Okay, my concept is flexibility and spacesuit patterning, and I wanted you to think of the movement of the studio environment even though it might not make I might not be as productive as I could be <laughs> when everybody's not here but it's definitely I definitely prefer it when people are here. You know there's usually other people here. I've never been here by myself I might for an all night which is kind of fun because it keeps you entertained and it's not as lonely. <laughs> being here with everybody makes it a lot more bearable being here up really early than when it, you're by yourself at like 6 in the morning, the lights keep going off because you're just working at your desk and 
you're not making the light sensors right. <laughs> I don't know. I that's not that's not as much fun. So I don't know. Like it's it's architecture itself, and then like the people you're with. So. Pretty faces, temptation, imagination, so I always stand.